Taya Tai Hilo guys now you learning that Taya Tai, the foreign hand is the most well known and flexible tie for neck wear, you might likewise recognize this as a schoolboy bunch or a straightforward bunch, simple to tie. The four close by tie bunch lives up to expectations for each event and with any sort of fabric, and collar. A few exemptions would be dark tie occasions, when you would wear a neck tie or times when you would pick the marginally more formal Windsor, hitch. The origins of the foreign hand tie bunch are fairly questioned, sources propose that when the new century rolled over, carriage drivers tied their reins with this type of bunch, picture a carriage driver with the reins of four stallions in one hand, or four close by. Others trust the carriage drivers styled their scarves with the four close by bunch, yet another hypothesis says this tie bunch started from a private club in London in the 1800s, where individuals from the foreign hand club wore their neckwear with this specific bunch, making it chic. One thing we do know is that the prominence of this tie bunch got on once pressed. Up transformed collars got to be milder and transformed down into the cutting edge collar, we know today. Follow this tutorial to learn how to tie a tie the foreign hand tie knot, for further instructions on tying a tie. Step 1, being by draping the tie uneven around your neck. Make sure the thinner B, end hangs to the bottom of your breast pocket. Step 2, now cross the A wider end over the B thinner end. Step 3. Wrap the A wider end under the B thinner end. Step 4. Fold the A wider end over the B thinner end. Step 5. Bring the bottom of the A wider end through the V created at the neck. Step 6. Pull the A wider end up. Step 7. Pull the A wider end down into the loop C and tuck it all the way through. Step 8. Adjust a C knot by centering the A, wider end. Pull down on the A end to tighten the knot when you have it centered. Step 9. Use the B thinner end to adjust the knot up towards your neck. Pull the A, winder end to tighten the knot. Step 10. On the back of the tie is a loop where the thinner B end will tuck into. Tucking this prevents the thinner end from hanging out. Practice makes perfect of tie a tie. You will need to repeat the process several times to get used to tying a tie. I hope you must like my video and subscribe us. Share with our friends that you are just wonderful information. Thanks for watching this video. Best regards.